Again, the Northern Elders Forum has opposed the clamor for zoning of the 2023 presidency to the South, saying power should remain in the North. In a key note addressed on Saturday at the meeting of Northern Leaders of Thought, NEF spokesperson Akim Baba Ahmed noted that every Nigerian and region had the constitutional right to run for the presidential race. I think at some point they said, oh, they don't want the power to go to the south, that it must remain in the north. At some point again, they said, oh, yes, they can give them the power. But today again, they are coming and saying another thing. These people, <laughs> the group's comments coming days after the national leader of the ruling All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu, announced his intention to run for the 2023 presidency. The group said, for the north, we cannot say it's louder. A northerner should be voted president only if he's the best. Being northerner is not enough. All Nigerians need good leaders. But for us in the north, we will demand to see evidence that a candidate does not just want power to fulfill a personal ambition. We want to see evidence that those who want to lead us in future understand the roots of and solution to our insecurity and poverty and distances from each other. Hey, what did Buhari Khan they do? You are talking about poverty, you are talking about insecurity. So why did you bring Buhari in the first place? Why was Buhari elected? Is it not to tackle all those problems? Now he has escalated it. He said we want to know how Irandicism will be handled. How and when major changes in our structures and systems will be made to address popular grievances over the way our country should operate, how our economy can be re-engineered to achieve sustainable developments and work for the rich and the poor equally, and our young will be groomed to become productive, honest, and patriotic citizens. We don't get shame for this country. The same thing has been said since hey, God knows when, from time immemorial, the same English, speaking the same grammar. So what happened all this time? So what has Buhari been doing in Asurok? The power being given to him, what has he been doing doing with it? We are still talking about how to groom the, 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 the youth on how to make things work for the rich and the poor, to have a sustainable development at this age and time. That is what we are still talking about. That is what we are still talking about. We will demand to see an inclusive and competent team that we campaign with the candidates and transit with him into governance. We want a thoroughly Nigerian president who will be as hard on the bandits as he will be on the secessionists and insurgents. We want a president with vision and the energy to retrieve a country on the verge of collapse and place it securely on the path of stability, security and growth. So, Buhari, what has Buhari been doing? That's the question I'm asking. You know. We still have governments in place now. Why can't you tell the government to do the, all these your demands? We are, of course, some distance from next year's elections, but it will be dangerous to ignore signs that the governor or the journey from the, this point until those elections could place the country in greater danger. We should warn politi politicians to avoid destroying a country they seek to lead. We must demand that the fight against organized violent crimes is, in, is intensified. We need to improve elite cohesion, even in the context of intensi intensely divine electoral campaigns. <laughs> okay. I think it is not a do or die affair. The question, the reason all these people, they do all these things they are talking about, they don't mean it. They do not mean it. What they are interested in, in who to get power and who to get contracts and juicy appointments, all this rubbish they are saying eh, just to fulfill all righteousness. Of course, they can't come and tell you that hey, we want this, we want that. But we know that that is what is usually end at the end of the day. How it ends at the end of the day. The question is that since 1960, the same story, we want a, a president, we want a leader that will do this. Our economy, our infrastructure, our this, our that, our security, the same story. And the problem escalating over and over again. Escalating so seriously. <clears throat> oh my goodness. At this point in time, no agitation should be carried 
out by any online country. We hereby urge the citizens to abide by the rules of the country as proper measures will be taken off. Buhari is a southern candidate. He was forced on the north. <laughs> According to what he said, this one see they pursue a uh, cat I mean a rat why his house is on fire. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. Well, scared of vengeance. They know what they have done to the southerners. They don't want something upon them. And you think uh, the southerners will not fold their hands and say, okay, let them continue. <laughs> they just better be playing their cards very well now so that it will not affect them at the end of the day. They are afraid that the way Buhari appointed only northern Northerns to head security agencies and other key opposition or key position, a southern president might do the same to them. <laughs> Can you imagine? Where well, Igbos are not interested anymore, just understand that thank your God you are still alive because you never know what is happening. Go to your village and say this. A man from a Mauritania answering elder in the north. Come on, no more nine non say they really, they really get sense. To. They get sense. Well, well, let him give it a go his way. Imagine a person who no go primary school and is claiming to be educated than a graduate that is the mentality of an ordinary northerner. They claim to be wise even though they have nothing to offer, and that is a big problem for a country when a bunch of illiterates are parading themselves as leaders why should he not oppose a southern uh, president when they not gave their best candidates at that time they should watch oh, nigeria for all not one side no problem we will go with biafra then let us see how the system will work like that let's see how it's going to work and southern forum opposed zoning to the north so who is going to take the lead at the end of the day southerners are not the owner of nigeria but because of their laziness and weak of those who are calling themselves are the reason they always hobby lobby to be leader in nigeria you can see somebody like Sinubu, see how he is very ready to say yoruba land and the peoples to enemies because of his ambition of ruling a failed and terrorist nation. He never a day condemned human Ebuhari for his action taken on Nigeria and over killings by Buhari's kinsmen, Esmen, as he said he is the maker or kingmaker. He will see arrogance and over ambition in his life going to the north. Yes, going to the north, even ever there's problems. They are are doing nothing to console his own people during time of problems today. Tinubu did not visit Oyo State to pay a condolence visit to Ondo State, but each time he will quickly run to the north to greet them. That is true. That is true. He will just quickly run before he could say Jack Robinson. He will just run there run and greet them. And the the so-called honestly, it's unfortunate. 